want to say this is not clickbait at all hate clickbait so you read the title right rachel dozo was my professor because when y'all found out she was white that's when i found out she was white hey guys it's your girl haita and i'm back on my youtube channel i said i was gonna upload regularly well i have no news, you know <laughs> okay i have no excuse but i'm back so that's all that matters right if not now then when um so i'm back for another story time video and if you know me personally you know i always have like stories like for days like i could talk about being chased by a moose or when i thought my plane was gonna crash you know crazy stuff kind of having a hard time trying to figure out what i should talk about for my youtube video and my friend's like oh you should do a story time about rachel dozo and i'm like maybe i should kind of talk about how i found out she was white and just kind of like the signs of like oh yeah mm, that's, not, that's not quite right um and just another disclaimer in no way am I trying to bash Rachel Dozel. I'm just talking about my um, experience with her because honestly, she was a good, like a great professor. Like I learned so much about being black from her. I know that sounds crazy, but it's true. She's a great professor. She did a lot of stuff in our community. So I will not bash her on that end. Let's get in straight into the video. So all right, boom, or, you know, a lot of people might not know who Rachel Dozo is. So basically, basically Rachel Dozo was passing as a black woman for X amount of years. Her and her family, like they feud, like she wasn't really messing with her parents. So her parents kind of outed her and was like, they were like, no, mm, she's actually white. Um, so they outed her um, and then everybody was like, one, like the story was like worldwide, like everywhere everywhere Remember i went that same like like a couple weeks later i went to paris for study abroad and people were talking about it and then it was just hella awkward because i was like yeah that's that's my professor like, leading up to her being like outed being white um there were a couple of signs where it was like mm, that's a little questionable but i never questioned anything because i honestly looked up to her and i was like yo she's so dope like i had her for two classes she was my uh professor for research methods and then uh african american women's hair um and then she was our bsu advisor a black student union advisor for like a semester or whatever like officially but she was like kind of involved here and there you know um and so yeah like she was dope like i looked up to her like anything like anything she was gonna speak at I was like oh I'm gonna be at that like I looked up to her and I felt like in class like um for my research method class like we didn't meet so we would just meet with the professor and so like I would go to her office and we would just talk and like she was just hella cool like she'll just tell me about her struggles of being a black woman and I'd be like damn like I you know we was connecting you know like she told me like one time like one of the things that was kind of like okay doesn't really add up but I'm not gonna question it was like she told me I don't know what we we're talking about she was like oh yeah like when I lived in Montana like I used to like live in a teepee and hunt for my own food and I was like yeah I was like yeah that makes sense like she's Native American and black you know the two definitely correlate the Native American part of it you know makes sense um yeah definitely not I was so stupid that doesn't really make sense but I was like oh wow that's crazy and like she would tell me like different stuff about like um just her family and then it was like oh, okay this is why she don't vibe with her family no more like oh okay like little stuff right so there was that and then when we, when we were in class like in, um I forgot what class it was but like or even lecture sometimes like if she was just like a school lecture where anybody could come to it um like she'd be going in at the white people real hard and i'd be like oh rachel hold on there girl. reel it in you doing a little bit too much reel it in i'd be feeling bad for the white people in class and i get it you know white people some white people are crazy um white supremacy very serious topic um but sometimes you know there's a few bad apples but that doesn't ruin the bunch you know what i'm saying so there was that um and like it's crazy because other people told me they were like yo there's something off with her and i'm like no guys like my ls was like yeah no nah, i don't really eh, you know there's something weird about her i was like no like why would you even question her like i don't see what you're talking about like i boosted about her like i literally called my parents and i was like oh my god there's this black woman doing so many good things in the community like i love her blah blah, blah. you know like i used to like it was just crazy so like of course you can imagine when the story popped i was like huh what what 
So let's move on to how I actually found out she was white. So if you know me, I'm always on Twitter. Like, I stay on Twitter. Like, it's my favorite social media. Um, I'm either either retweeting some crazy thing, talking mess on there. Like, it's crazy, right? So I go to my trending, you know, the little trending thing. I'm looking, I'm looking, and I see her trending. And I'm like, that's really weird because we go to this small school in Cheney, Washington. Like, it's really like why is my professor trending but i'm like oh maybe it's because she's so great like she's doing all this great stuff like whatever i click it i'm looking at the tweets and they're like rachel dozel has been lying this entire time she's white and i'm like huh you, you said what she's white hey it's not making sense it's not making sense to me at this point and i'm like wait like i'm like no nah, people are lying because uh, back then she was getting like hate mail and like death threats because of what she was doing in spokane you know they couldn't handle a black woman doing all this great stuff in spokane so that's what you know i thought they were just making a lie so there was this link and it was like rachel dozel's picture as a child so you know, i don't believe this but let me let me go ahead and look for myself i click it and it's a picture of this white ass girl and I see it and I'm like, damn, that's Rachel. Damn, that's her. You cannot deny it. Like you cannot deny it at all. Um, it was crazy. Like you, you can't deny it. Um, and so I was like, wow. Like from there I was like, yo, what? So I like go to my roommate and I'm like, bro, look at this. Like Rachel, she's white she's white and we're literally on twitter like what the fuck like what's going on made the situation worse was that interview video she had with someone in spokane when they were like are right, is that is that your your dad and she was like huh and then they were like are you african-american and then she was like i don't understand the question and then i was like rachel it's not that hard are you black or are you not but she was like i don't understand the question and that's what made it like 10 times worse so we have a group me for our bsu so i like i went in there i was like guys did you hear about professor dozel like what is going on i've been like all this stuff and we're like whoa she's real life white oh my god like this is crazy like, i don't i don't understand i don't understand like and at the time like ask rachel was trending and if you were like on twitter at that time you know how funny that was um so you know we was dropping memes in our group me participated in ask well i, I participated in ask rachel i retweeted a couple of things it was funny a few hours later she had hit up some of the grads that were graduating that year because she was supposed to speak at black grad and um they were like she was like hey do you guys you know amongst all this stuff do you guys still want me to speak at black grad and people were like yeah you should still speak the school thought otherwise <laughs> please you're not going anywhere stay where you are don't go you cannot go they said no you can't come to it and they just like shut her off like completely off it was like you can't come not an employee here anymore um just forget about it you can't come um so they said no and it was it was crazy because there was hella press at that black grad like i remember someone had come come up to me and asked for me to give a statement and at that time you know i was sensitive you know all this new information so i was like you know i don't want to do that and low-key i did not want to be turned into a meme so i was like you know let's let's not do that um so i, was like, I just you know declined or whatever i still can't believe that happened like and I was a friend on Facebook and so like at the time on Facebook like you could go and like when you comment on something like a picture or something because the shade room had posted her and so you know I was like so hurt but I was kind of like I had a lot of emotions at the time and so they had posted her and I was like on the shade room being stupid as hell like defending her um and I think she just saw that I commented on it and she deleted me so that like I was high key hella salty i was like wow she say i'm not excusing the fact that she lied but she did do a lot of stuff for us in the community like naacp president um the chapter over there um you know our bsu advisor so she helped us like make uh, she helped us with our black lives matter uh protests on campus which i feel like was very effective um and so like she helped us with that so you know just different avenues because we were kind of lost you know she just kind of guided us like you know so i will say she did a you know a great job she's very knowledgeable on black topics and everything like that so she, she did help us a lot but she did not have to go about it 
in the way she did. She did not have to lie about being black um, whatsoever. Like she could have done everything as a white woman. And I, and I, I'm, I know the black community there would totally respect her. Um, but it just sucks now because like she can't get a job, at least from what I've been reading, she can't get a job. Um, no one's hiring her. She changed her name, which I was like, okay, Rachel, he, you doing the most but there's that and then like recently like a, a few weeks ago um a few weeks ago she or like i think it was like a month ago she was gonna come out with a black um black history month calendar i was like uh, okay rachel it's so too much it's too much it's all you just have to and then and then when the whole the the boy with the monkey the 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 h&m situation she like came out with the the king of the hood or prince of the hood or something i'm like okay rachel you girl you got you gotta let that shit go you gotta reel it in let it go let it go let it go <clears throat> we're gonna work on the vocals i just wanted to share my experience with that because to this day i feel like it's so funny because she really fooled me she really i remember calling my parents and i was like oh my god there's this black lady out here doing so much for us at easter and then it was like, damn, you ain't got a lot of kid, kid. And I know you might say, Haita, how come you didn't know she was white? And I'm telling you, if you see her in person, she looks mixed. Like, she told me she was Native American black. So, I mean, you know, there's there's mixed people that can pass as white. And who am I to tell you, like, no, you're not black. Like, you know, I ain't got time for all that. Um, but, yeah, no, she real life, like, if you see her in person, like, she real life looked black. And, I mean, I guess it was the tanning that she was doing that I was unaware of. Um, the wigs she wore that I was unaware. You know, I was really stupid. Like, looking back, like, talking about this out loud, I was hella dumb. But, you know what? You live and you learn, you know? It just, it just sucks. But, yeah, this will forever be funny to me. Like, I can, will never, like, it happened almost three years ago. And, like... I'm still like any meme ha, ha 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 like it's still funny to me because she real life like she fooled me but yeah I just wanted to share that story time about that because I feel like that's just crazy um but yeah like subscribe comment um I don't know what I'm doing this channel I just I'm just gonna try to upload frequently and kind of see where this goes but uh yeah share the video you know get a couple laughs and uh thanks for watching